Hey everybody, this is Tammy. Welcome to my channel. Please forgive my appearance. I have been sick. That's the reason I haven't been on YouTube lately. I have had bronchitis, but I'm much better. And I am so much better that I did find time to go to the Dollar Tree. I'm trying not to get heavily into Christmas, but I can't help myself. I just, people are hauling stuff that is so neat. They have really upped their game and they've got a lot of new items and I just couldn't wait to get started because you know how it is at Dollar Tree, especially if you live in small towns like I do. If you don't get it when they have it, then you may not get it at all. So I picked up some things and I just will get right into it. I'll quit yapping and we'll get right into what I got from the Dollar Tree. I got this pretty red bird. He clips on and I'm gonna be using him in a DIY and I'll show you what I'm gonna be doing in just a minute. But he's got some pretty feathers and I just thought he was beautiful. And I love this Christmas red and uh, I think he will look really cute in what I'm going to do. I got two of these stems. They are the little small poinsettias and they have a lot of glitter on them and there is some fallout. It's not as bad as it was. I think what I'm going to do is take them outside on my porch, shake them out real good, then spray them with hairspray and hopefully they'll quit shedding that glitter. But I just couldn't resist them. They're so cute and they're so glittery. And then they have a little bit of greenery there's not a lot on the stem. I'll count and see how many there is. There's one, two, three, four, five. But that's enough with this other one that I got to do what I'm wanting to do with it. So I got those. I also couldn't resist these. These are the berries that I've seen a lot of people haul. And these are just so cute. And I got these to cut apart and to like tuck on shelves and in arrangements and things. I'm, I'm just not sure exactly what I'm going to do with these, but I just think they're beautiful. And I think that I can use these a lot in the upcoming holidays just to sort of stick behind something to give it an accent. Or, you know, I could use these in, a, in an arrangement but I'm sure I'll find something to do with them. Some of them, the paint's flecking off a little bit, but I can always touch that up with a marker, like that one right there. I can always take a marker and touch that up. It's nothing serious, so I got two of those, and for a dollar, I thought those were awesome. I got these big jingle bells, and there's six of them in a pack, and I got the silver. And I got these to do a project with my lantern. I'm going to do a lantern for the holidays, and I'm going to make my own jingle bells to hang off the side. I've seen some other people, uh, Arlen at Country Craft Corner. She has the jingle bells hanging off her lanterns, and they're beautiful. But I'm going to try. I have some ribbon here, and I'm going to try to make my own. Because what they, they had some made up at Dollar Tree, but they were small and just sort of puny looking. So I decided I would try my hand at making my own jingle bells. So I can put a bow at the top, some floral, and then hang these from some ribbon, and they'll be real cute. So I'm glad to get those. And I love these. But they didn't have but one pack of these. They had already sold out. But there's three in a pack, and they have the little clip on the back. You can clip these onto your tree or onto a wreath or you can just use these in a lot of different things and I wish they had had more and I'm probably going to hit up some other Dollar Trees in my area and see if I can find a couple more of these. I really like, I really like these and I'm planning on doing a white tree in my dining room with the Christmas blue and I would love to have some of these just to clip in that tree, this silver. Now, Jennifer Moen 5 has a YouTube channel, and she does a lot of Dollar Tree hauls, and I've been watching her. I got these 18-inch wreaths. They look small, but they are 18-inch, 
and they're a little skimpy. But as she said, and it, the suggestion was wonderful, get two and then put them together to make them full. So that's what I did. I got two of these and I'm gonna put these together and fluff it out to make a wreath for my door. And I'm going to use the bird at the top of my wreath and I'm going to use some of these little glittery poinsettias to stick around. Not real heavy, but just a few. And then I want a real pretty big bow to put in there. And I may even use, if I can find some plaid ribbon that has some glitter in it, I may even do a little plaid in there uh, because I just really like plaid. I think it's gonna be big this year. And I think that's what I'm gonna do with that. So that's gonna be my DIY and that's gonna be coming up soon. But I think this will be really cute. It's real lightweight. That's one thing about it. They're not heavy. And I can just wire these together. One thing I seen that I should have got was the um, these greenery ties. And I've seen them on YouTube. I haven't seen them in the store, but I didn't look for them either. So I'm going to try to find some and maybe I can make this a little fuller with some of those. But they look like these, but they're just long stems and then you can just twist them in there. So after I got home, I thought, gee, I need some of those to help this out. So I'm going to do that. And that's all of the Christmas that I got for right now. And I'm telling you, it took restraint not to buy more because they had boxes and boxes that had not even been opened yet. And I just wanted to get in those boxes and see what they had. But I also, while I was at the Dollar Tree, got two bags of miniature Reese cups. And I'll be making some Halloween bags for my grandchildren and I'll be putting some of these in those Halloween bags tomorrow. And I found these really cute cosmetic bags. Now they're sort of thin, but there's two in a pack and they have a little ribbon around them. And I've seen these actually in somebody else's cart. Do y'all ever do that and see something in somebody else's cart and then think, I gotta go over there and find this. So that's what I did. I went over there and I found these and there's a bigger one behind it and then the smaller one. And this would be nice to put a gift card in for someone or just to have as a little gift for someone that maybe stopped by your home and to put a, if you wanted to put a little money in this for a teenager, uh, just, you know, this is just a neat little thing to have. And they're handy too. The zippers work real well. And the inside is just a plastic, but they're cute and I couldn't resist those. So I got those to stick back. Now this one don't want to zip back. There it goes. Okay, I just panicked for no reason. That one zipped back fine and I'm sure this one will too. But you know, this would be neat. Just stick a little gift card in there. You could put some tape on the back of it or you could even put it in the bag itself. So I got those. And I've been seeing people haul these. These are the Dove moisturizers. The only thing is, I, tell me in the comments below, are these for your face or are these for like a body moisturizer? This one is, it's called a beauty cream, so I assume it's for your face. This one in the pink is called just Dove beauty cream. And then in the blue, it's the intensive cream nourishing care. So I thought these were really nice for a dollar for gifts. I could even tuck one of these into one of these cosmetic bags if I wanted to, or both of them. You know, that would make a cute gift for just a neighbor or, or a friend at work or something. So I got those, and I really should have got more of these because that is just a neat idea to have just a little something. I can always tie a ribbon around that and give out to my friends at church or, you know, just anybody. I got this tote, and these are real substantial, and that's the reason I got this tote. Most of the time I pick my totes up from the thrift store for like 59 cents, but this one was pretty big and pretty substantial. They had different colors in it, and I needed this to put some of my items in, like some of my DIY things, so I can just grab it, have it all together, and then grab it up and do it. 
So I got one of those. And that's all I got at the Dollar Tree. I did get some toothbrushes and I did get some more candy, but that candy has long been gone and um, the toothbrushes are put up and being used. So I wanted to also show you something I found. I had forgot I had this. Somebody give us a box of old uh, junk, if you want to call it that, old junk and antiques, and this was in it. It's a brass deer and a sled, and it's solid brass, and I just love it. The chain is broke, but, the, but all the chain is there, so all I've got to do is just sort of put that back together and fix that, and then I can set something in there if I wanted to just put candy in there or if I wanted to just put a, a floral. I don't like this little bow that's on the front of this. I'm just going to pull pull that off. But this thing is heavy, y'all. And I'm probably going to take some Brasso and shine it up a little bit. But I don't know if that's a... I guess it's a reindeer. It looks like a regular deer, but it may be a reindeer. But I just thought it was beautiful. It'll look good with my vintage items for Christmas. And I was glad I come across that. I also forgot the other day when I showed my Walmart haul, I got this little lantern ornament. And I thought it was so cute. They have their ornaments for $1.97 or $1.98. I can't remember. $2 at Walmart. And I just couldn't resist this. It does not light up. It doesn't have anything under it to light up. Now, there are some at the Dollar Tree that do, but they don't look this good to me. Uh, this has the little pine cones and the berries and the greenery, the little pine. And I just thought it was so cute, and it will look good with my rustic theme that I'm doing uh, throughout my house. I may could sit this on a shelf or put it on my tree, but I was uh, glad I came across that the other day because I had left it out of my haul when I uh, did that Walmart haul the other day. Well, that's all I got today, but there'll be a lot coming up. If you like my channel, I wish that you would hit the subscribe button and give me a thumbs up and join me next time. I have some more DIYs coming up and some more hauls, and hopefully I can get to the thrift store one day, if not this week, next week. But anyway, thanks for coming in and spending time with me. Love you all. Bye.